If you are looking for something creative to do with your family, well, I've got something cool for you. In this video, we spend some time doing arts and crafts, creating keychains with names. So do stay tuned to find out two ways this becomes a learning experience for both you and the kiddos. Let's get it. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, click subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest content. All right, to help everyone get started, I have shared the five supplies you will need, which are split rings, keychain clasps, beads, leather beads, and nylon string, most of which you can find on Amazon or at your local arts and crafts store. And make sure you give yourself a little extra length on the nylon string as well. Now, to set the stage for everyone, we are new school age parents, meaning this is our first time having kiddos in school. What we found out is some parents bring into the classroom some type of treat for the kids' birthdays like cupcakes, fruit, snacks, ice cream, or other goodies. So we thought it'd be a cool and fun activity creating keychains with the names of all his classmates and teacher too. We also let Drayson, also known as Dre, also known as Baby Dre, get in on some of the fun and excitement as well. And of course, he just had to make sure his keychain was added to his bag too. Early in this video, I mentioned two ways this becomes a learning experience for both you and the kiddos. The first is Huxley was able to practice spelling his classmates' names. He had to pick out the right letters, spell out the names, practicing with all the different letters. It was fun to watch and a few proud parent moments. We also explained that some kids have unique names and or spellings, which makes it sometimes hard to find a keychain with their name on it, like Phoebe or Huxley, Zachy, even Drayson. The second learning experience is as parents, it provided us an opportunity to ask questions about his classmates in a fun way. We asked him about his classmates' favorite colors, which is how he picked out the different color of beads. He shared funny stories about each one of his classmates. We talked about if they had siblings. It was an opportunity for Huxley to share about his classmates, and we learned more about what makes those moments and friendships built in class so special and rewarding. Until next time.